Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we have a bit of a sad task ahead as we say goodbye to our grasslands and tropical mini zoo, also known as Nyambura Zoo in franchise mode. It might be surprising for some of you, as this is probably the last zoo you expected to see ending because it's one of the newest zoos. To be honest, even I had my doubts about wrapping up this series this soon, but like at some point, I just had to stop building in the zoo because I was really disappointed with the bugs I encountered that made sure I was not able to do what I really wanted. And to make things worse, while building at some point, I apparently accidentally deleted a part of the African Tropics house, which I'll show you in a bit. But I'm sure that many of you can relate to that feeling when you realize you've accidentally removed a building or like a part of it in your zoo. and then there's just no way to bring it back using the undo button or by loading an older save file. Like it was really frustrating and disappointing and it made me just not want to work on this zoo for quite some time to be honest. So after thinking about it for a while, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just not enjoying this particular zoo adventure as much as I had hoped. So it's better to bring the zoo series to a proper end and just start fresh in a new friend zoo in the future. Now without further talking, let's just go ahead and take one last look at this zoo as we bid it farewell. Because honestly, it's it's really not about what I built that is, is bad or anything like that. Like I think I did build some really cool habitats in here and even like a super detailed gift shop in here. But like, I'm super proud of this one. But the more I look at the overall layout of the zoo and the fact that I started with grasslands, then I decided to add tropical inside it. And I, it just became super messy. And uh, I don't know, I just really want to wrap this one up and just uh, do something else and, and do it a lot better, plan it a lot better. Like I'm also not perfect. I've been making zoos for quite some time now on the channel. And uh, yeah, I also just mess up sometimes and just want to start all over again and, and do something fresh, new and exciting. But I am super proud of this whole zoo gift shop right over here. I think it's super cool. It was one of my most detailed gift shops, uh, first gift shops ever. Uh, so let's just start right over here. We have We have another gift shop right over here, which is not decorated yet. And then right over here, we have the Aardvark's Habitat with some cool education signs and some uh, really cool indoor nocturnal house, if we can call it that way. I absolutely love this habitat and I'm just really proud that I was able to achieve this after, after creating some nocturnal houses. Like this is probably one of the best ones I've built and uh, yeah, I'm just super happy with this one. Also with a little water section right over here. But for some reason, like these tiny things that I did here, uh, for some reason are just not possible anymore. And that is according to some bugs in the game, which is just super annoying. Anyways, let's just go outside. We, we can go outside right over here as well. Oh, it's raining. That is what I was hearing. We have a very, very tiny little indoor area right over here and then you can walk all the way around here to this beautiful art park habitat on the outside we have a forge box enrichment item right over here where you can eat and enjoy some food oh man i hate that it rains right now anyways we have on this side we have a caracal habitat which is also looking very good i Really had fun to build this one as well, especially the indoor area is, is one of my favorites, especially this, like this is the first time I actually created some kind of viewing gallery like this with like a railing in front of like this chain link fence. It was so much fun. I had that from, I don't know, some kind of habitat in real life. And I really wanted to try that out and it worked so well, especially right over here with this, this this bendy shape in the fencing. Now, for some reason, the guests are not really able to, to see through it or something. Like, the visibility is super low. 
when looking through here, but we are not going to pay attention to that. It's definitely a really cool habitat. And this one also has this educational area right over here. Love the lighting here from the roof, all the, the glass windows. Uh, we plan to build an exhibit area right over here, which was never finished, obviously. And then you have like this, this backstage area here, which is just so cool as well. You already saw it in the introduction video. So we go just quickly through it. Also love the lighting in here. I could have added some decorations inside here for, for just some climbing purposes and stuff. But yeah, definitely a really cool, one of my more detailed backstage areas, if you can call it that way. And I really do love the look. I think ever since we built this one, we built a lot of these type of backstage areas as well. So then after we build, no, we, we, we also have the outdoor area, which also looks really cool with like these, these glassy viewing galleries, rock formations and stuff. It's very lush in here for the caracal. A lot of nice African plants. And uh, we have some more water section right over here for them to drink and to cool down. Definitely looking super nice. Well, it's also quite a challenge to build this whole uh, big cage around it. And then uh, you have another viewing gallery right over here. Also with some enrichment items to make sure that the caracal is getting uh, more close up to the guests right over here. Yeah, and, and then I decided, oh, yes, we have a tropical pack. <laughs> Let's go and add some tropical animals in here because when I built these two habitats, we were going for the grasslands animals only. And then I was like, uh, I just want to add some tropical animals in here as well. So here we have it. We have the fossa in here from the tropical pack. Uh, definitely also really cool outdoor section. Also try to play around with all these logs right over here, like giving the feeling that it's more realistic, that they are hanging on these chain link fences. A ah, really cool area, very tiny, but detailed, looking nice with all these um, tropical pack pieces here in the backside, because that is obviously something I really wanted to try as well. And yeah, okay, so then, huh. We started working on this tropical house, which was pretty much finished here at the whole entrance. And now it's just gone and it, uh, it frustrates me so much. And I really thought that I had an old save file. So I was able to either blueprint it or just, just, I don't know how, but I was like, oh yeah, I still have the file somewhere and it should be in there, the, the building itself. But no, it's not. And yeah, so that was uh, one disappointment. And the other disappointment was, oh my goodness, this is definitely such a mess. This is not decorated, correct? Oh wait, that's because we, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we still have glass walls in between here. So uh, yeah, um, here you have it. Uh, do I need to say more? I don't think so. Uh, this is when I, I wanted to decorate the inside of the fossa habitat. I wanted to play around with little water sections uh, here and there, or like a, a, a water stream in the middle of it. Um, I don't know since when this is in the game, but this was not there as far as I can remember. I could make tiny water sections like this without it just cutting off. I'm not really sure what that is about. It, it's it's hideous. It's super ugly. We reported it to Frontier and Frontier was like, yeah, we just don't know if we are able uh, to fix this anytime soon, if not at all. Making me feel like they actually already pulled away some of their staff for maybe other game developments or something like that. Like, I've honestly never heard them uh, say before, like, oh yeah, Oh, I'm so sorry for the bug, but yeah, we just don't know if, if we're able to fix it or able to fix it anytime soon, if not at all. This building could have had so much freaking potential, not going to throw it away, probably going to use all these pieces. I mean, I built them uh, so we're, we're, we can try and do something else again at some point. But yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but if I accidentally delete something, I'm just not really super excited about putting in hours again to, to rebuild something. It's, it's, 
it feels such like a waste of my time and it just annoys me so much. So yeah, it's a tiny zoo. Definitely had a lot of potential, but mm, it's just not really、uh, making me too excited to finish it because I, I don't know. I, I think the step going from grassland to to tropical zoo、uh, to a combination with a tropical zoo maybe just wasn't the right idea to start with. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel it's sad, but I think that we can definitely create some other really awesome project instead, where we can hopefully put all our attention into and just enjoy it to the max. So yeah, we are going to say goodbye to Nyambura Zoo officially right now, but don't despair. We will get back with a different zoo. I might be using some of these habitats in a tropical franchise zoo. Not entirely sure about. That because I don't know. I'm not sure if it will fit that well. You can still download a few of these habitats from the Steam Workshop already. I will link that in the description of this video. And not even going to upload this file to to the Steam Workshop because there is just not much into it, and I just feel like it's it's a waste of anyone's time. I guess. <laughs> Unless you guys really, really want me to upload it, then do let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully, you guys understand, and I just hope that you guys are、uh, excited for anything new that will be coming up on the channel at some point. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this Nambura Zoo series that we had on the channel. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.